Hi viewers, this is Sajjad Hussain and you are watching my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's video in which we are going to discuss a short story by Chinua Achebe and the name of the short story is Civil Peace. Chinua Achebe is a very popular Nigerian novelist and short story writer. Things Fall Apart is a masterpiece by him. In his writings, he has presented the depth and richness and variety and diversity that is there in the Nigerian culture, in the Aibo culture and he has also highlighted the problems of his people. This story, Civil Peace, is written in the backdrop of Nigerian Civil War or Bifron War in Nigeria and the setting of the story is 1971 when the peace treaty was signed between the rival factions and uh, civil peace had uh, started to reign. The story is of a young man whose name is Jonathan Iwek Boo and he considers himself to be a happy survivor. He considers himself to be a very lucky man because along with his wife and three out of four children he has survived the destruction of war. The loss of one child is nothing as compared to the overall tragedy and overall loss of life and property that people had to experience. He is a man of action, he does not delay things, he immediately starts things and he had, his, he had a bicycle that he dumped somewhere in order to save it from the soldiers, he retrieves it oils it, greases it and puts into use as a taxi and he is able to start his earning with the help of that bicycle. After a few days he visits his native place Enugu and uh, he finds out that, is, that a miracle is waiting for him. His house, mud house, that cottage, that hut is very much intact and uh, a huge building of steel and concrete has changed into a rubble but this mud house is very much there and uh, he thanks God and utters that uh, catchphrase in the story that is repeated almost four times and that catchphrase is nothing puzzles God. He shifts his family there, he visits the coal mine cooperation in order to restart work there in order to regain his job but uh, after a few days he comes to know that uh, it is a futile practice so he starts an open bar and the money that he had earned by using the bicycle as a taxi is invested on opening that bar and he starts selling palm wine. His family, his wife, his children, they support him. His wife starts preparing okara balls for breakfast and his children start picking fruit and this is how they support him. And he is able to restart his life. He starts flourishing. He starts prospering. However, one day he comes to know that the government has decided to give ex Gresha or egg Rasher, the Bifron rebel money or the amount that was left there by the rebels and he goes to the treasury, the government bank in order to get the money and uh, the very night when he returns home with the money, his house is attacked by the thieves, there is a hard knocking that is uh, heard by him at night and his wife and children start raising hue and cry they are quite alarmed they cry for the help of the police they look for their neighbors but nobody turns up the head of the thieves demands that they should be paid 100 pounds by Jonathan and Jonathan pleads with them that he hasn't got that much money however he has got those 20 pounds that he got as egg rusher and he gives them the money 
and uh, they disappear in the dark in the morning all their neighbors come around and they come straight with jonathan and his family and they sympathize with them but jonathan puts aside all their sympathies and all their consolations and he is of the view that uh, this incident doesn't matter a great deal for him because he was not depending on aggressor and on this money prior to the war there are greater things that they have lost during the war and once again he utters that catch phrase nothing puzzles god now this and the story comes to an end this catch phrase nothing puzzles god is very important because this shows jonathan's faith in god and this shows his optimism and this shows his hopefulness he is of the view that everything that is done by god is according to a plan god is not nervous god is uh, not uh, shocked therefore we should have great faith in god and we should restart our life by depending on ourselves and uh, there is a possibility that we would turn out to be victorious he is diligent he is hard working he does not shirk work he is not shy of doing anything he is a man of initiative he is highly pragmatic and practical minded person when he comes to know that coal mine cooperation is not going to open very soon and his job is not going to start very soon he does not wait for any longer and he does not waste his time there instead he immediately starts his own business starts his own employment and his wife and his children they side with him and they stand by him and they help him out in this crisis and he turns out to be a great inspiration for his family and this is how the head of the family should behave in the times of crisis he should lead from the front and he should instill a new hope and uh, optimism in the hearts and minds of the members of the family by leading from the front we come to know that uh, the story is quite simple and uh, the plot is straight forward it is narrated by a third person and uh, the story is in fact a treat to read it is full of interest and uh, it is full of great lessons for the readers viewers i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching keep following allah